Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So I'm very excited for the today's video, <laughs> even if I don't show it. This video is going to be creating consumer avatars and this is extremely important if you want to be deliberate with your content production. So if you are just a content maker or you have a startup ready or a business, an existing business that you want to expand and make more relevant to your consumer needs, then this video is for you. And we're using GPT-4 to recreate your consumer avatar, put a name to it, put an image to it, and basically get uh, many different insights that you can use. And this video is going to be quite technical, involving multiple steps. So you might want to put out a piece of paper and a pen so you can follow along and later repeat the process. So first things first, we need to decide uh, about the data we are going to use as far as our consumer avatars. And I have decided that one of the best free sources for that is YouTube commands. So in this case, we'll be using Matt Wolf. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind. He's a, a an amazing YouTube channel with over 200 subscribers. And what I did, I went to his videos and filtered them out by popularity. And I want to have a general feel of his audience. So I needed to select a video that is fairly generic and this video here, which is AI's most insane week, which is about all the AI news, I think exemplifies his target audience very well. So it's not specific enough so that we get very niche down results and it is fairly broad. So we'll go to this URL here, we'll copy it. And then we have a few options. We have uh, three options that we can use to export the commands, which is export commands and YouTube commands downloader. I have used them both, but I prefer Tube Atlas, which is a very cheap LTD uh, tool that allows you to do everything and anything from keyword research to transcribing. And I'll be using its commands function. So I'll be pasting over the URL from Matt Wolf and I'll select page scrolls to 10 and we'll do scroll and extract. So, okay, this is the data that we got back. Once again, we need to tidy it up. Okay, so we have, now we need to apply some filters again. I would only use in this example, since we have so many commands, I would use only those commands that have 10 likes or more. Now we will need to go back to ChatGPT and prime it a little bit, the same way I did in many of my other videos. So the priming prompt would be, I'll be pasting information and I want you to respond with received. Understood. Now we'll be pasting our commands. Received. And now to the actual prompt, which is based on the above information, answer the below questions in a two column table. What are the key demographics, main points, main pain points, goals, motivations, and so on and so forth. The five questions that will describe the consumer avatar. What are the key demographics? The key demographics are not explicitly mentioned. However, the commands suggest a diverse group, including students, professionals, individuals in the tech industry, main pain points, fear of job loss, ethical concerns, potential negative impact on creative fields, inaccurate or insufficient AI generated content, rapid pace of AI development causing uncertainty. So this is golden. These are all the pain points that you can address in your future videos, in your content creation, and so on and so forth. What are their goals? Staying informed, preserving human creativity, balancing the benefits of AI with potential negative consequences. Again, this is golden. How do they gather information? Videos, articles, reviews, rely on personal experience, recommendations, online reviews. What is the tone of voice they should be communicated with? A mix of informative, emphatic, and balanced tones would be suitable. It is important to address their concerns and provide accurate information while also highlighting the potential benefits of AI advancements. So this is pretty good. And again, I did not uh, fetch all of the commands. <laughs> there were too many, so I stopped at 30 pages, I think. And the more data you have, the more detailed this becomes. And this is just for the example purposes. And now the second prompt, based on the above name, the above consumer avatar and use visual descriptive language to describe their facial features. 
The inquisitive technophile has a sharp, focused gaze. <laughs> the eyebrows are slightly raised. Their eyes, a blend of excitement and caution, sparkle with the possibilities that AI brings. A hint of smile placed on their lips. Finally, we need to put a face on that description. So another prompt that will feed the mid-journey prompt formula into the AI first. And now finally, create a mid-journey prompt based on the above consumer avatar description. And I have tried that prompt in mid-journey, and this is what I got instead. So this is the inquisitive technophile. <laughs> you can even name her. And once again, you have a very detailed description of what the demographics is, the main pain points are, their concerns, how do they process information, and the tone of voice you should be communicating with them, with so I think this is very good information. I think you can use it to create consumer avatars for different YouTube channels, for your own content, and the opportunities are limitless. And based on that, you will be able to create better content, understand your consumer better, speak to them using their language, tone of voice, and visual cues. And yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you have tried these prompts. All these prompts are going to be in the ChatGPT prompts library. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.